Utah is home to several areas of sandstone slot canyons. One area is the Robber's Roost. On the western side of the Robber's Roost is a high quality canyon named Chambers. It lies in the south fork of Bull Creek. Chambers Canyon is a short day trip from the end of the Bull Point Road, only needing three to four hours to complete the four kilometre circuit. The approach is straightforward, only taking 15 minutes across slick rock to reach the start of the canyon, and navigation quite simple. The canyon forms a tight slot immediately in the Navajo layer of sandstone. I did contemplate bridging along up high, but the canyon floor continued to descend beneath me, so I climbed down in at a point wide enough and then followed the canyon floor from then on. I'm not entirely sure I'm having fun yet. The name of the canyon refers to the several chambers that offer respite from the narrows along the course of the 400 meter slot. So I probably need a baseball cap as opposed to a cricket hat. Oh, it's nice to have these chambers just to get rid of some of the claustrophobia. The slot is pretty narrow, only about rib cage wide in parts, so it's best to enter without a day pack. I started at dawn and drank two litres of water before leaving the car, meaning I could travel with only my camera and nothing else. The upper section of canyon ends with a subway type section before it opens up for about 50 metres and then dives down for the final lower section. I uh, wasn't sure I was going to fit through there, so, so I'm uh, I don't know, maybe what, five metres above the canyon floor and then going to shuffle along here a bit further and see if I can get back down in. The slot ends abruptly in an impressive amphitheatre, with the canyon amazingly exiting a sheer wall through a curved crack, requiring a down climb and a two metre jump down onto sand. This is the quintessential Chambers photograph. It's then a one kilometre walk along the lovely gorge to an easy exit and then a slick rock hike back to the car. Chambers is a fun canyon, short and intense, and it is a great introduction to narrow Utah canyons.